Hey, what's up, guys? It's time on Armour Films again, and welcome back to today's video. So, I'm here with my name is Bolua Tife. You might have heard of Abuja, the bustling urban city known for its upscale neighborhood and beautiful town. But before you pack your bags and make the move to this vibrant city, here are 10 facts you need to know and see if you can handle it before you relocate to Abuja. First on the list, we have high cost of living. We know that. Abuja is very expensive and you need to consider a lot of things like the cost of housing, cost of um, food, transportation and all of that before you move to Abuja. High cost of living, yes, it's something to actually consider, yeah. yes, because of where you're going to find a place to live, must be close to a work area, must be close to like a lot of things that will be convenient for you so you don't have to be going to like another location to find things that will yeah. be, to find like amenities that will be at your disposal. Yeah. Going to a place that you don't know, so expenses, the money you're going to give out for rent needs to be something you need to actually look out for. Especially when you know that, oh yes, transportation, I'm going to be moving from one place to another. Whether you're mobile or non mobile, high cost of living is something yeah. that I feel we should all look out for. Number two, we have traffic congestion, especially during rush hour because of the rush hour, we have a lot of traffic congestion during this mm, period. During yeah. all those times that they actually want people want to move like for work during closing hours. Like closing hours, I'm talking like, like 3 30, 4. Some people is easier than that. But most times when road is congested, it's like 4 or 5. You see that the roads are congested. Then early in the morning, especially those times, people that are during school times, during school period. Because this last break, this is September, August, this summer break that they had. The road was not that congested. But see this September. It's congested. <laughs> Number three on the list, we have limited public transportation. So because of how Abuja is, there's some places that you cannot use a certain type of transportation like the tricycle, known as care, and also bike because of their government reserved area, places like Gariki, Area One and other places you have top um, government buildings. Yeah, I don't even think they like to see um bikes on express they are very they don't like it not just bikes keke too okay yes yes keke is too why i'm seeing bikes mainly is because i know that most times when you're coming out of when i'm trying to come out of my area i'm not mobile so when i'm trying to come out of my area i'm just trying to like okay find bike then they'll tell you sometimes ah, they're packing people down so people you have to just consider that especially if you are not mobile like me you have to just yeah. try to work with what you have and consider yeah. a place where there will be cab close to you that you can meet up to you know that must be late for wherever you are going to spend. number four we have security challenges especially at night you have a lot of people rushing home and some areas like gariki um where people come to get the buses we'll to their see, various yeah we'll see yeah. area one also mm -hmm. and where people, Lube also where uh, people, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah where people get bus to go to their various homes recently there have been cases of kidnapping mm -hmm. robbery and a lot of stealing car yeah. hijacking yeah a lot, lot of that in abuja um, you need to consider this before coming to abuja yeah. is it a factor to consider mm -hmm. when you want to move to abuja so point number five is housing you know the cost of housing in abuja is very expensive and it can be very competitive depending on the area for you to find the one bedroom flat in abuja costs from two million sometimes to five million era in a very good environment so you should consider this before coming to abuja because housing is one major thing if you're moving to a new city like abuja you should consider housing yes if you have like a very high budget you can go for um all these like top official places like all these mitama Asukuru, Lube, Jabi, them, them. Like those places, I'm sure that they are, their prices would fit into your budget. But if you're like of a, if you're of an affordable budget, you can find houses around Kubwa, um, Guarimpa. I think those houses are not that pricey. Like we say, so working within your budget and it's an affordable budget and a good estate agent. Yeah. You get the right place, you get the right house. So. Yeah. Moving to Abuja will be quite easy for you when you know your budget, when you know the range of where you want to go. The sixth point we have is infrastructure. So when we talk about infrastructure, we talk about the power supply, water, and basic amenities. You know, generally, we don't have 
stable power in Nigeria and you might want to have a backup like generator or inverter or solar a panel. solar panel. So point number seven we have job opportunities. Yeah. Job opportunities is something that I know that yes, you want to seek before coming. Have a lot of them lined up. One can feel you, you move on to another one. Just have like a lot of them. Yeah, that's true. And especially if you have skills. If you bake, if you do this, like once you are coming to have like something that I know that you will sell once you have good marketing strategies. We have expensive school and malls. Schools here can be quite expensive. They can range as high as a millionaire. And also, the malls here about in Abuja, they can be very expensive. In schools, you can see schools, they'll tell you um, British curriculum. Yes, yeah. British curriculum. And by the time they give you everything, the time you are paying, you realize that you are paying a lot. Minus the main sufis, you see too short. You see another thing, you see another thing, but then you break it down. They all adopt to cost you, a lot. Schools is something you should only look out for. Like if you have kids, if you are moving to Abuja, to Abuja with kids. With kids yeah. So it's school, very good school. And also have like do um there's something else to do. Scouting. Yes, school scouting. Scouting, yeah. You'll be yeah. able to go to you can even go to the school and see everything yeah. around. Yeah. The malls, yes. A lot of malls. Like if you are staying if you are staying at an affordable area. You see malls at an affordable price. If you are staying in all these big main places, all these places where politicians are dwelling in, you see more price settings. Yeah. So it depends on everything depends on the location you are staying. That's if true. you are staying in a pricey place, that means you can afford what the mall are paying. And if you can't even move out to where like malls, expensive malls, there are markets, places surrounding your areas. Yes, that you can make do with. Yeah. So expensive malls and schools. Yeah. Then malls are places you easily find in Abuja. Last but not the least, we have the nightlife in Abuja. The nightlife in Abuja could be very bubbling, you know. We are relating this to insecurity because if you're moving at night in Abuja, you should also know that there's there's no security in Nigeria, of course. And we need to consider that before moving to Abuja. People are out in Abuja. Most times you see that a lot of malls make sales in the night than yeah. during the day day is bubbling you know, but the night mm. is where the gang is happening you won't see queues in the night compared to other cities in nigeria in yeah. some yeah. some cities you see that by eight by eight everywhere. Everywhere. before eight, before by, eight but yeah. by eight you see everywhere is just silent, silent like everybody's yes. just yeah minus the insecurities people still handle that handle that yeah but nightlife if you are into nightlife and you want to come to abuja we welcome you with our full chest so in conclusion we want to say we are not discouraging you to move to abuja but we want you to consider this point before moving to yeah. abuja so, because moving to abuja could be quite um overwhelming and there's a lot of things you need to consider so we just list um list out these 10 points for you to consider before moving to abuja if you enjoyed this video do well to share share it to your people share it to your friends or family and your loved ones that want to move to abuja <laughs> if you enjoyed this video share like and subscribe 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 to simon, simon i'll see you in the next video <laughs>